visit my guys and get your exquisite cut from Supreme Cuts at Whoop Chase Mall in Interest 3. Let Chris, Steve, or Flip the Baba do their magical wonders and give you that great look that you've been missing. Who is going to be the program to head to Murfreesboro, Tennessee for the state championship tournament? It's on the line in this one. South Gibson County walking inside the house of the Hamilton Wildcats. And you know the Wildcats with Big Blue Nation are standing up loud and proud for this one because this is going to be a big time win if they can head to the state tournament. Boy, do they have fans packed in this one. Jordan Johnson, who's had a big time season on the offensive end, open it up on the offensive side, taking it right to the cup. And then here comes SGC. Knockdown jumper from outside, looking good right there from the wing, but on the other side, they miss it, get an easy put back down low by Brooks. You know he's gonna clean up the boards. No Windex or towel needed. Down low in the bank, the big for South Gibson getting that one to go. Then Mick Mahon getting that one to go on the offensive end, finishing with the left. The unsigned senior looking down low to Brooks. Brooks puts it up off the glass for a finish. On the other side, knockdown jumper from the corner. He can feed it from deep. Looking good on that one. That's Dylan Robbins showing you he can knock it down from outside. But Kevon says, okay, if you want to show your range, let me do mine too. He knocks it down from the wing. Same thing. And one bucket lets you know he's in the building. Nice bucket by Adrian Pierce for South Gibson County. Here's Johnson. He goes up with the acrobatic finish. Finishing off the glass with the left. And then James DeJesus missing that one. Rebound by Brooks. He goes up on two defenders that are both bigger than him. And he puts it up and makes the bucket. You already know. James knocking one down. He missed one earlier. You know he's not going to miss two. You might want to get a hand up. 18 to 10. And this is when it got ugly. Not talking about the smear from the Mac makeup that you bought at Wolf Chase. This one is nasty here in the second quarter. Let's just watch and see. South Gibson County knocking one down from the corner. They didn't have too much of that going here in the second quarter because here comes Hamilton. James De Jesus knocking it down in the face of two defenders in the corner for the Wildcats and then the defense. Johnson getting the pick and then going up to finish. He misses that one though. De Jesus cleans up the board for the finish off the glass. Look down low. Brooks getting another easy bucket inside the paint. It's back to back to back ones right there for Hamilton. They're all easy inside the paint for the Wildcats and one bucket on that one head to the free throw line and he got one to go so why not get another one let's go back down low again for the Wildcats for another and one bucket my boy Scooter is pushing along the way helping Hamilton get over the top all highlights here in the second quarter seem to be all Hamilton it's super ugly I told you knock down right down low in the paint as Brooks cleaned up the board for the rebound they're missing it a lot of times for the easy buckets down low. They even brought a couple of players that got a little breather on the bench and then they, you know, kicked it off and got themselves acclimated in. 44 to 16 to end the half. One thing you cannot deny is whether you've been working or not. Everybody's going to their lifting programs. Everybody has preceding con conditioning and all that type of stuff. Not everybody does this. I could run faster, I could jump higher, my endurance is better, I didn't have to like try as hard to do the skills that I'm doing now. He's not only improving me on the field, he's improving me as a person in life. You know when I need to step it up. Come on big fella! Somebody pull me out of this rut. Third quarter, getting into this one. South Gibson County wanting to come in the right way and stay on the right track and you know, all the things that you're supposed to do when you want to win, but did they really forget who they were playing? Hamilton Wildcats, who've had a big time season on both ends of the ball, have shown why they belong in the state championship. And right now, they don't seem to have their hands full. It seems to be a walk in the park as Brooks uses the bump fake, goes straight to the rack and finishes off the glass. Pull up jumper outside, knocked down by the lefty, showing his range on that one. That's Nathan Hicks. For the knockdown jumper and then outside the same thing for Kevon. He knocked down a, a couple of those in the first half. 
got that one to go to start the third quarter. Kelso knocking down a jumper from the top of the key. Looking around, trying to look for someone to dip it off to, but could not find any open player. Kevon on the other side, knocking down a jumper from the corner wide open. And then he dips it down low to a slam. You already know, the ultimate dunk of the night comes from a lob outside on the wing, and the fans are loving it as they're packed in the house of Hamilton. South Gibson County talked a lot of trash, but somebody's not walking it like they talked it in the beginning of the game. They're having a hard time. Jordan Johnson feeding it from deep. I'll tell you one thing. The school that has Hamilton up next in Nashville has their hands full. White's Creek. You better did your homework because this squad right here has guns. They can shoot it from anywhere and do anything inside the paint. Great defensive team. They break down the press when they need to. Knock down jumpers from outside. Work down low. And just their IQ for the game of basketball is super high. South Gibson County getting a bucket to go down low in the paint. And then here's just, just feed it off and knock it from anywhere. Jordan Johnson throwing it from 40 feet. Getting it to go from the wing on the offensive side for the Wildcats. Then here's some South Gibson County pull-up jumper, mid-range style. Nathan Hicks getting that one to go. It's a timeout because Jordan Johnson went down hard. He held his back here in the fourth quarter as it was starting to get crucial. He left the game and did not return in this one. And that's a good thing because they were up by a lot and they were already going to head to the state tournament if they can keep up ball. And here comes Scooter. He says, let me finish it off for you, big bro. Even if you head to the locker room, let me do my thing. Even a young guard coming in doing his job, Kevin Brown, getting the acrobatic finish on the other side and then a lay-in down low in the paint for the big and Kilo Haynes. He got that one to go. And then the up and under trying to use the acrobatic move. Looking nice. Number 14, Alden Pierce. On that one, but hey, very well so. From the beginning, they had their hands full, and you've seen it. Hamilton Wildcats prevail, and they talk a little trash as they take their way and gas up the bus to Murfreesboro. Hey, Before you leave the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right above my name on the right side, and if you liked me cooking it up, Make sure you watch another video on the left side.